Do you want to know how we created a $25 million digital agency in a, just a couple of years? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly our strategy and what we did so you can grow and scale your agency to whatever number you want. Hey, I'm Jason Swank, founder of Agency Mastery 360, a community for digital agency owners that are looking to turn their agency burden into an asset so it produces predictability, wealth, and freedom. So if you want to know more about that, go to agencymastery360.com. Okay, so let's get into why you're here. How did we create a $25 million digital agency in just a couple of years? Did we start with $100 million? Nope, that would probably be the easiest way to go to $25 million. But we're going to tell you the second easiest way and the right way in order to do it, all joking aside. So we started with a million dollar digital agency. And a lot of you may be thinking, and you might be at the, the same place. You've created a million dollar agency or maybe a couple million dollar agency and you've kind of plateaued and you're thinking, well, how can I actually grow? Or maybe you haven't grown in a long time. Well, if you think back at when you started, you might have started like me. I was an accidental agency owner. I knew how to do something cool. Someone offered me money and I was off to the races, but I was being reactive to the market of what was coming to me rather than proactive and thinking about where do I want to go? So that was really kind of the step one when we were creating this digital agency or really kind of scaling it up to the next level. We go, where do we want to go? Do we want to be one of the fastest growing digital agencies in North America? Check, we did that. Do we want to be one of the biggest agencies in the world? We're working toward that. Who are the types of clients we want to go after, right? We started nailing that down. What are the types of services they need and what do we need to offer? Cool. Then we started thinking about who is the team? And then this is the, this is the most important part after the vision. Who is the team that believes in this that we can surround ourselves both internally and externally? What advisors can we bring in that have actually done this that can actually help? So we started talking to all these people and formulating this plan. And one of the first plans was, well, we can go organic or we could buy. And we th th started thinking, well, let's do the acquisition route. This is probably the, the quickest. Now, a lot of you have, might have thought about it or gone down this road, but we've, you've done it different. You thought about, well, if we're at a million dollars, we have to buy someone smaller. So we'll probably start off buying someone at the 200,000 in revenue well, or maybe even the 500,000. So if you want to make it to 25 million, how many acquisitions do you need to do? I mean, that's probably like 50, 60. Can you honestly, do you have the time to do that? And so we started and we were thinking about this this way and we go, how do we buy someone bigger? And how do we get creative about this? And this is not just a roll up saying, do you want to be a part of this? And we won't give you any money. We literally brought money to the table and we brought equity to the table. We brought all these different things to the table for the people we went to. First agency we bought was around the eight figure mark. And we go, this is what we're doing. This is what we'll offer you in cash. This is what we'll offer you in equity. This is the role that we want you to play in the new company going forward. Are you interested? And they were like, yeah, we're interested. We're like, holy cow, this is awesome. We could buy someone bigger. So we kept thinking about that. And then in a couple of years went by, we bought 10 agencies. And that's how we've grown to this. Now, I'm going to give you some helpful hints and, and strategies. When you're going in it, you have to, there's a couple things. And we got this wrong in the very beginning. We didn't have someone that was in charge of integration between the two agencies as we bought. We just thought, we'll buy you. We'll put your revenue together. We're good. And then our valuation keeps going up, right? Because our ultimate goal is to sell or go public one day. And we just want to get the highest multiple possible based on our EBITDA. And we're like, we'll just bolt them on together. Well, that, that doesn't work. Like smart buyers and people looking at it going, well, have you been integrated for two years? How is it going? So we needed to bring someone in that was in charge of that. We also needed to make sure we weren't losing a ton of clients as we bought. Because a lot of times when you buy an agency or a business gets bought, the clients jump. They're like, oh, the, you know, the the founders aren't running it. The service is going to go to shit, all this. So what we did, and I really like this, we didn't tell any of their clients for a good six, eight months. 
after around that period, we would reach out and say, how's the, how's the service going? They'd be like, oh man, this service is great. They're like, cool, we were sold six or seven months ago. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So now they have confidence in the new brand, the new company. And we kept each company their, their own name, their operating, like the, the owner stayed, the operating team stayed. We wanted everybody to stay. We didn't want the, this chop shop and just take on the revenue. So they were just a wholly owned company by the parent company. And so that's how we did it. Now, there's many ways to grow your digital agency. This is one of them. And this was one of the fastest ones I've seen in order to get to the 25 million and beyond in just a couple years. And so I just wanted to give you that little insight and our what we've learned in the past couple of years to do this. So you have the opportunity to do this and think bigger because I don't want you just to sit here and be plateaued. If you want something bigger, go get it, take the action and go do that. So I hope you found this strategy useful. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, and until next time, have a swank day.